Welcome back! This tutorial is on the Maps component from the Actus extension that somehow completely slipped from my attention. So let's have a look at it right away. The Maps component enables you to save a set of maps and provide the player with the possibility to change the level directly from a user interface like the palette or board. We use the map components in all our example maps in the Aquas extension, for example here. So let's have a look at the setup for a board like this. First, we need to add the maps component to the appropriate actor. In case of a board like we are constructing now, this actor is the board itself. Next, we fill this array with the details about the maps we want to load. The title and subtitle text are for the widget, as is the image. Transitions and contrast are generated according to the level info data asset specified here, as is customary for level changes in the advanced framework. Lastly, we need a widget to display our selection of maps. We can use the widget initial palette maps for that, since it works for boards as well. Just add it here on the widget component on the board and check the re use recursive widget selection boolean here, since the advanced framework widgets need that setting to fun function. The widget initial palette maps does not have tabs, so we can ignore the initial tab setting and just get started. As you can see, now the board here on the wall provides me with a button for each level of the Aquas extension that I added on the maps component, and I can change the level of, to the level of my choice just by selecting first the level and then confirming. We did not include a maps hut widget in the Aquas extension, so you have to invest a bit more work if you want that. Let me give you some basics to get you started. First, we need to add the maps component to the desktop or mobile pawn and enter the maps as before. Next, we need to create a widget for our HUD element. I will modify the viewport widget for that, so let's make a copy and clean up a bit. Now we have an empty horizontal box we can fill with buttons for our maps. At this moment we might be tempted to just use the buttons from the palette widget for the hut. In theory that's no problem if we tread carefully. So let's duplicate the widget palette button map select and see what we can do. At this point let me bring your attention to a feature that all hut buttons share. But other buttons like palette buttons don't have. It's this transparent overlay button here. You can see the viewport bu hut button has it and also this catalog hut button. Our new button that we just created, however, doesn't have it because it originally was designed for a palette who doesn't need it. So let's add this overlay and set it up accordingly. And most importantly, we need to override the get overlay button function here on the button. This function is central to the widget interaction setup of the advanced framework. And if you want to know more, have a look at our video on the widget component. With that, we can get back to our HUD widget. I set up the code off screen and will just explain it to you shortly. The event construct code here is to fill the horizontal box of our widget with the map buttons. First, we clear the box and ensure that the maps component is found. Next, we take the maps array from the component and create a button for each entry using the contents defined in the structs. Lastly, we include some logic to arrange the size of the buttons nicely and bind this event to the button. And here on this button pressed event, we have the code to implement the level change losing the level PDA transmitted from the maps component. The only thing left now is to add our HUDS maps widget to the HUD component of the desktop pawn. As frame, we can use the viewport frame, since the widget has the same dimensions. 
and of course, we need to ensure that the maps component is set up on our pawn, which we did before. Now we are ready to test our maps hut. As you can see, the hut widget is opened and populated according to the info on the maps component. And if we press one of the buttons, the new map is loaded. I won't show the palette setup this time. It differs in no way from the custom setup of a palette, which I showed many times before now. So for now, I'll sign off. See you soon. Bye bye.